Hello everybody, this is Andrew, also known as Nature Man. Today we are going to be talking about Hydrangea macrophylla, also known as the Big Leaf Hydrangea or Lace Cap Hydrangea. This is a uh, type of hydrangea you see in a lot of older homes and landscapes, and a lot of people complain that they never bloom, or they simply don't live. Very good reason for that. It's really not hardy in Zone 5, despite what sources tell you. Unlike a paniculata, Hydrangea paniculata, also known as the Panicle Hydrangea, uh, Unlike this, big leaf hydrangeas grow in near full shade. These grow in full sun. Almost complete polar opposites. These bloom on new wood, these bloom on old wood. Again, near polar opposites. Extremely difficult to grow, extraordinarily easy to grow. This is a limelight hydrangea on a tree form. These do exist as shrubs, and there are dwarf varieties. This is not a dwarf variety. <laughs> but anyways, back to the big leaf hydrangea. This is in the Endless Summer Hydrangea series. This one is Summer Crush. It'll have either a blood red flower to a pale pink. It'll either be a deep red and acidic or pale pink and alkaline. It was, it's kind of red, but it's kind of faded to a pink. Soils here aren't the best. But anyways, it has doubled in size since it's planting last year. It obviously is hardy in a general sense to zone five. However, the stems are not. It is only root hardy. We had a very late season frost. It started to bud in the middle of winter. It was like um, towards, actually I take it back, more towards the end of winter. We got a night that got down to like five degrees and they had little leaves on it. Killed every single branch except a couple around the base. Which is why you see one flower right tucked in under the base and not a single bloom on this lush, lush plant. So if you're in a zone five or even a zone six A region, you have to plant these in a protected site. It has to be deeply acidic meaning you have to add a soil acidifier every year. If your soil pH is alkaline, meaning it's above a seven, you must add a soil acidifier in order to keep the best colors and in general, the best health. It cannot grow in afternoon sun. It needs morning sun, afternoon shade, or full shade. So it's partial sun or full shade. Again, sources that say these grow in full sun is completely false. I don't know anywhere in their growing range where they can grow in full sun. Some people say, oh, they're going to take full sun in the north, shade in the south. No. I live in Zone 5, Indiana. And they just don't grow in sun here. They scorch. I've seen the leaves get leaf scorch in afternoon sun. And then the plant dies. Um, plant is, like I said, more than doubled in size. And it isn't, it isn't overly protected, but you might be saying, Andrew, this is, looks like a pretty sunny bed. Well, it is. It's shaded by this paniculata and also by this for, forever goldy uh, Thuya plicata. Uh, but mostly, most it's blocked right here. So this gets some pretty bright morning sun. Between noon and one, it gets pretty much filtered or full shade because of this hydrangea. That's in part why they planted it here. So it could be shaded by this limelight hydrangea. But it's a general sense. The best luck for a macrophylla, plant it in a shady spot that gets morning sun, afternoon shade, or no direct sun, or at least filtered. It might do best. It will probably need some sun, um, but definitely not full sun. Um, never prune them back because they bloom on old wood and make sure you heavily mulch it because the mulch will kind of insulate the roots and may even give some of the stems a better shot of survival also retaining some of that moisture and keeping it protected from wind so an east or north side of your house because typically winds blow west to east so if you have it on an east or north side of your home it'll give the stems the best shot so if you get a late season cold blast and you're in a zone five or zone six, it'll give the stems the best shot of not dying back and still blooming next year. Uh, like I said, this is not protected from wind, which is, it's, shade, it's shaded in the summer, which, which keeps it healthy, but it's not protected from wind. So that's, that's a fold on ours when we planted it. But we all learned something new today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And we hope to talk with you again soon. This is Nature Man signing off. Bye.